Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It's Matt and Summer here. And now if you're new to our channel, we tour some of the most amazing houses across the UK. And we also visit a variety of luxury new build sites. So today you join us in Broadacres, which is a site built by Berkeley Homes. It's in the village of Southwater, which is West Sussex. Now to get you a bit more familiar with your location, I'll pop a map on the screen here. We're around 10 minutes away from Horsham, Horsham Station which takes you to London, Victoria and London Bridge in under an hour. And we're also under an hour's drive from Brighton and Worthing as well. So this site, Broadacres, has two, three, four and five bedroom homes. Two bedrooms start at £400,000 and four bedroom homes start at £575,000. Today we're going to be showing you a three bed semi-detached property. This is one of the show homes here at the site. And I believe there are 301 properties in total. Um, so you can obviously come and have a look at a few different ones as they're being built. So yeah, here it is. So the three bedroom properties start at £495,000 and they range all the way up to five hundred and fifteen. But then there is also one um, detached three bed at £530,000. But most of them are semi-detached properties just like this. So let's take a bit of a look from the exterior. We've got the parking area over here. So like I said, each property is going to have parking. This will be a shared driveway. So you've got half, you've got a couple of parking spaces easily here, the garage, and then also the side access. So take a look from the property from the side. It's interesting, um, an exterior kind of different render to what we've usually seen. Yeah, so this one's got kind of like a stone render and then this one's the white render. This really reminds me of being close to the seaside. Yeah, kind of similar to the ones we saw in Worthing, weren't they? Yeah. Which isn't too far. Yeah, looks nice. Um, excited to see it. We've got the interior designed by Jigsaw and this particular show home style is called the Skylark. Let's go check it out. All right, so before we get into the tour, I'll pop the floor plan on screen to so make sure to pause that to get your bearings. Now let's get into it. So we move into the kitchen, which is on the left as you come into the property. So here we are. So we've got an L-shaped kitchen, two stone finish, which looks quite nice. So we've got the navy blue down here and then the slightly off-white color up here but i do like the fact that in some of the units you've got the open glass so you can see inside have some nice items on display we've got the minstrel mistral mistral sorry mistral not, not mistral chocolate <laughs> mistral worktop which is super durable and it has that marble effect as you can see from the finish and then in terms of appliances we've got the bosch induction hob and extractor above there so let's see what have we got we've got lots of cupboards drawers the sink. This is the Bosch dishwasher. Nice. We've actually got a Bosch washing machine in here, washer dryer. Nice. I would say, to be fair, you've got a really good amount of storage because it goes all the way around. And yeah, not bad at all. Then ovens on this side. We've got Bosch microwave and oven and then the integrated fridge freezer. Oh, some drinks in that. Nice. Yeah, that's the fridge and then here's the freezer below. Then the flooring is um, just a laminate in a light oaky colour. And then I also like that they've put this kind of breakfast table here. Yeah, it just gives you somewhere to sit down even if it's to have a coffee or something. And then at the front, you've got a big window. So it's nice and bright in here. You've got a nice outlook with how landscapes the surrounding area is as well. Okay, now across the hallway is the WC. Go and check that out. So I am a fan of those grey grey tiles. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. So it's contemporary, and in here you've got this super large mirror. One thing I've really noticed is the ceiling heights. Yeah. They're a lot taller, I would say, than some other new build so. properties that we've visited. Yeah. Being six foot four, I do often feel a bit cramped in some houses, but I can't even touch the ceiling here. So I think that's pretty good. Now, obviously we've got the staircase there. We'll show you the first floor. We'll show you upstairs very soon. Let's head into the main living area. Now, if you want to get your bearings again, we'll chat to the floor plan. So go back to that for measurements. Here we go. It's a six seater table, and then you've got a big window looking out to the side here. So again, lots of light. Then over here is the sofa living area, but nice interior design by Jigsaw. I think they've done a good job styling this place out. 
yeah, we've got beige kind of colors throughout. And then this side, you've got the cabinetry for some little bits and bobs and then your TV on this wall. Nice. Yeah, and just a nice little touch having this storage in here and these gold handles feel quite a luxury. Talking about storage, you've actually got another storage room under the stairs. Let's check out how big this is. Yeah, that's a good space. Got some little coats. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I mean, interested to see the first floor then. Should we go upstairs and then go to the garden afterwards? Yeah, let's check out the garden last. Okay, cool. Come on up, guys. All right, so we're upstairs. Let's check out what we've got up here. We've got three bedrooms in total. So firstly, off the landing is the storage with the boiler. It's always good to just have an extra place to put your Hoover, ironing board, suitcases, all of that good stuff. All right, this is the third bedroom. So obviously it's ideal as a kid's bedroom. As you can see, you've got a single bed here and then a view out onto the garden. And um, you can start to see a lot of families walking around. I have noticed, obviously we're not from here, but I've noticed it seems like a really nice family area. Horsham is super close by and there's loads to do there. Bowling, cinema, yeah, loads, loads of, of restaurants, restaurants, isn't there? It seems a really nice place. And let us know down below if any of you guys watching are near Horsham or live near this area. Yeah, for sure. So we've got the second bedroom here, as you can see. So we've got a double bed in the middle, slightly larger than the other room. So yeah, good amount of space. And then is that built in over there or just freestanding? That's a freestanding wardrobe, yeah. Nice. And then let's have a look at the back view. This is your view outside. You've got some houses out there. Um, but, you know, that's your, is that a garage just there? Yeah, so yeah. not a big house right at the back of your garden, which is a good. Yeah, so these are ideal for someone, for example, maybe moving out of London, obviously from the 400, um, in the 400 range for a property like this, obviously you get a lot more than you would in London and you're quite close by. You've got good road networks as well nearby, which we drove up here on. Yeah, so you've got the M25 and is it the, what's the other one, M23? Uh, yeah, I think so. They're around this area. Okay, here's the family bathroom. So a few points that I'm a big fan of. Number one is the LED light strip under here and the fact that the bath doesn't go all the way to the bottom gives it that hovering effect. Quirky tiles too. Yeah, quirky tiles. They've like gone the for something style. kind of different. Over here we've got the sink mirror above so pretty standard but again yeah just a nice finish all round got blue tiles and everything in there good okay let's check out the main bedroom here we go yeah so this one's quite a bit bigger to be fair this bedroom you do definitely notice it um, you've got the double bed here in the middle and this one does have an ensuite and built-in wardrobe so let's show you these first there we go and I'll also just quickly point out, sorry, the um, yeah. heating system is like Drayton. Yeah, I've seen a few of those um, like digital thermostats throughout, so you can control it each area. And then this is this side, so ideal for dual, dual closet area. Here's the bed. There's also quite a lot of really cool amenities, such as like a sports pavilion, sports fields and everything, which we can talk to you some more about in the garden when we show you that. Again, just adds that community feel, doesn't it? Yeah, let's check out this wall. It's oh, yeah. kind of like a feature wall. I want to see. It's actually see... wallpaper. Oh, it's wallpaper. You'd think it would be like textured. Yeah, that's really. And set out a little. Yeah. Oh, I actually thought that would be like felt. <laughs> yeah, like a felt or velvet headboard, yeah. I like that you've got bigger windows in here. You've got a certain then one there. Let's check out the ensuite. Yeah, let's do it. So just through here. This is nice in here. You've got a nice tile finish again, that marble style. Oh, and have we got some mirror storage? Nice. Yes, nice. Well done, back to your homes. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big win because the biggest problem with a lot of the bathrooms and ensuites is lack of storage. Is that that's what that so one minimal. open? Yeah, but look how. Wow, that's a lot of space. Yeah, it looks like an ultra thin screen or TV. That's nice. Then here's the shower. So for size reference, this is what we're working with. <laughs> yeah, nice space, very quiet, I would say. Like we've got all the windows open on a hot day. Can't really hear too much, got a quiet road over there. And this is at the start of the development, so I'm sure the rest of them would be even quieter to be fair. Yeah. 
All right, we'll go to the garden now and keep watching to check that out, but also let us know in the comments what your thoughts are so far. Let's go, let's go now. Come on out, so we've got patio doors to the exterior garden where we've got this patio area, which is quite cool, especially on a day like today. You can enjoy the sunshine. And then you've got your garage door just over there. Yeah, so easily accessible into there. And then you've also got the side access gate over here. So you can quite easily come through there just down a step. And if you turn around somewhere, we can see the garden. Now, like we've mentioned on a few of our new home tours, obviously the separation fence hasn't been put in. So your garden's going to be up to here, isn't it? Yeah, maybe just like stand in the area so you can see it. Yeah, this. Because this is currently the um, sales gallery, which I think is like a four bed house. Yeah. Yeah, next door. So you've got the screen space here and then obviously the patio area. But still, that area there is that's like barked. You could change the garden, I'm sure, if you wanted to. Yeah, it's about the same size, yeah. this area and the grass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So obviously super family friendly feel. Um, you've got loads of stuff around you. I'll put a full list on the screen of what, what there is. But for example, there's football pitch, tennis courts, sports pavilion, um, loads of green space. And then the South Water Centre just down there. Loads of like shops, restaurants. Yeah, it's a nice village. Yeah, we've got a leisure centre um, and everything like that. But obviously speak to the developers, make sure to register your interest so you can find out all about that. They'll know the area a lot more than us. But we hope you've enjoyed taking a look around. A um, bit of a tour for you guys. Interesting to see what prices buy in different areas and like some said earlier comment below if you're from nearby this area um, We'd love to hear from you guys, but yeah like the video subscribe and we'll see you in the next tour